For the love of Christ controls us, because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. For the love of Christ urges us on, because we are convinced that one has died for all, therefore all have died, and he died for all, so that those who live might live no longer for themselves, but for him who died and was raised for them. For Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died, and he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Either way, Christ's love controls us. Since we believe that Christ died for all, we also believe that we have all died to our old life. He died for everyone, so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Instead, they will live for Christ, who died and was raised for them. His love has the first and last word in everything we do. Our firm decision is to work from this focused center. One man died for everyone. That puts everyone in the same boat. He included everyone in his death, so that everyone could also be included in his life, a resurrection life, a far better life than people ever lived on their own. <laughs>